Right, I've got this Milwaukee red lithium 4 ampere battery. I seem to be getting a lot of these lately. And it's got one flashing light. So I'm going to test it to see what's wrong with it. Right, test one reveals that it's got 14.66 or 68 volts, which is very low for a 17.5 to 20 volt battery, which this is. So I'm going to have to get inside the battery and see what's going on. Right, with the top off, first thing to do is check the connections. As you can see, look, that could be a problem. That nickel strip is broken. So what we've got to do now is repair that nickel strip. Right, we've got that strip repaired now. So the next thing to do is to test the voltage. And the voltage is sitting at 19.13 volts, which is very good. Right, we've still got one flashing light, which is very disturbing. So, we'll get the lid back on. So I'm going to try a little tip with my friend Brandon Thibodeau at Tibbs Tool Reviews from Lafayette, showed to me. According to Brandon Thibodeau, what you do is you connect a good battery onto your problematic one for a few seconds and this will reset the board from that flashing light to what it should be. So we're going to try that now. Brandon was right, that battery is now charging. Right, we've got ourselves four bars now, so pulled out of the charger. Got this fuel grinder. So if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out my channel for other content, new videos every week. And thank you to Brandon Thibodeau for that advice on resetting the board and that thing.